When AIRS interviews people for the organization, we really are looking for this certain kind of X factor. And what that is, is that, that kind of chip in people's brain that makes them love customer service. And the way we figure it, we can teach people how to move shipments, we can teach them how to sell homes, but we just can't teach them to like getting out of bed in the morning and to like helping people. And that's what we look for. And, and over the years, that has evolved to something we call Airs DNA. So we're looking for Airs DNA and the people that we interview. And Airs DNA is what I think makes this a great place to work. Um, it makes this kind of everyone's home away from home. We spend a lot of time here and we spend a lot of time together. And that Airs DNA factor is what makes work a lot of fun in what can be kind of a stressful environment. And for me, that Airs DNA is, is the piece that makes this where I love to come every day and where I know that I'll spend the rest of my career. All of our families who relocate are contacted by our quality assurance team at the end of their relocation and they're asked questions about how was your relocation and how, were, how was your heirs team and how were the partners that we chose for you. So we want our families to give us all fives on that survey because that stands for excellence and that goes into a rolling score for each one of our team members and that's kept over the course of one year. So. At the end of the year, if your rolling average PRS score, your post relocation score, is over 90%, you are considered to be in the circle of excellence. Our management team actually takes us out to a really nice fancy dinner um, to celebrate your accomplishments and to thank you for what you've done um, and to let you know that you're appreciated for all of the work that you've done in the past year. Uh, one of the coolest things that happens at that dinner is that each person is called out individually by members of their management team and they were presented with this beautiful glass plaque and where our stats are read um, to everybody in the group and um, we're th personally thanked for everything that we've contributed to the team and everything that we've done the past year to uh, make us so successful. So I think that when you have that kind of appreciation coming down from your management team to the employees to let you know that what you're doing is making a difference to the company, I think that that um, that contributes to a successful team and that's exactly what we have here at AIRS. Part of the AIRS DNA is giving back to our community. Over the past several years we have done so by giving back to local charities as well as global charities. Over the past couple of years we have participated in our March of Dimes walk where we have surpassed our goal each year with the support of our internal employees as well as their family and friends. In addition to these charities, we also make a monetary donation to the Wounded Warriors Project, a charity who supports wounded veterans coming back from combat. These are just a couple of examples of how AIRS gives back to the community. One relocation that stands out to me, I was moving a transferee and his family from the United States to Brazil. Uh, it was the transferee, his wife, and they had three children. Uh, I wanted to make sure that they were well taken care of, um, not only at the initial stages, but throughout the process. I kept in touch with them uh, even after they were settled in. I checked in with them frequently just to make sure that they were doing okay. And uh, at one point, uh, the wife had mentioned to me that their daughter, Marcella, was being bullied in the school. And in their location in Brazil, um, they, were in, um, they weren't in an international school, so they were in basically the public schools with the other children. So uh, I knew what a tough experience this must be for the daughter, and I, I felt terrible. And so we wanted to do something to you know, just make her feel a little bit better, maybe give her something that reminded her of home. So uh, I had asked the wife what she, you know, what Marcella was into, um, you know, what kind of toys she played with, what made her feel comfortable, and she mentioned that she was really into My Littlest Pet Shop. So we got together a package of My Littlest Pet Shop toys, a um, couple different things, and we sent it off to her, and 
she was so happy when she got it. Um, the, the, the husband and wife had reached out to me to thank me and let me know that she didn't stop playing with them for days. And she actually uh, drew me a picture of her playing with the toys. And it said, thank you, obrigada, which is thank you in Portuguese. And um, she mailed it to me. And uh, I still have that picture hanging on my cube today. And any time that I have a rough day, I look at that picture and it reminds me why we do this. And th that to me, that is the heir's DNA. That's, that's what we do and that's what we're all about. AIR's High Potential Program is an initiative that identifies individuals who show ability and aptitude for bigger and better things. Through utilizing training and mentoring and strategic initiatives, it puts the individuals in situations that they would not have been involved in had they not been in this program. AIR's benefits because there's a continuity of culture, there's better employee engagement and retention, and that all just leads to better customer service. My name is Margaret Tufo, and I've been with AIRS for almost seven years. There are many great things about working for AIRS, but one of the best of this about this company is the way that we honor the legacy of our trailblazers. Two extraordinary men worked for this company until the day they died, Mark Daner and Michael Tufo. They were both instrumental in building this company and their presence is missed every day. Ayers holds a memorial fundraiser in their honor every year. For Mark Daner, who passed away suddenly at a young age, we have an annual golf membership outing with proceeds that benefit an educational trust for his children so that they can pursue higher education. And for Michael Tufo, we run the Pittsburgh Marathon every year for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, a cause that was very close and dear to his heart throughout his adult life. As an employee of the company and Michael Tufo's daughter, it's incredibly meaningful that as time passes, we still take the time to honor the people that work tirelessly to help the company grow and shape the culture it bears. Thank you. You know, speaking of great heirs' legacies, People always say, why have you been so successful? What are the things that separate heirs from everyone else? I think we have a culture here that's awesome. It's uh, a lot about yes. Uh, we always say here, there's no such thing as no, just how much of yes can we give our clients? And we give our clients a lot of yes. Nobody likes to hear the word no. We want to truly do what we can to make sure that we have a great customer experience. And that starts with all of the people here at Ayers. That's why we're the number one relocation company worldwide. It's about our service. It's about our people. And that's all about the Ayers DNA. Yeah.